Hey guys, so it's pretty late. Um, I recorded a clip earlier today, but for some reason it's corrupted, and I mean, it, I can't play it or import it. But I, I know uh, a lot of people in the cycling community know about this because it's all over everything, and the Giro Italia is going on. And um, I'm, I'm gonna, I feel like I'm, I feel bad because I'm, I can't pronounce his name right. I don't think I am. Wild Wilder Wayland, Wayland. Um, he, um, died today on, uh, the stage of the Giro, which, you know, really bad crash, and I don't, I don't, I don't know the guy personally or anything, but it just, it, it's a, kind of emotional, because it's like, you know, it, it's something I do, it's what everybody in, you know, the cycling community does, and, you know, just, it's just kind of a freak accident almost, and I've had, uh, I've had friends um, close to me uh, have been killed riding bikes, and it's kind of—I don't know—it's—it's it's, uh, kind of gets me a little choked up to think about it because uh, one of my friends who—I don't even know why I'm saying this—but one of the friends who uh, got run down by a car, uh, some high school kids uh, racing, like he—he—he he, uh, he helped me win my first road race, like back when I was a junior. Like I don't know, just uh, Jorge. Alvarado, that was his name, and, and, uh, yeah, but anyways, and, and just, it's really, it's really sad when you hear that stuff, and, I mean, it is a dangerous sport, you know, you only have a helmet protecting you, uh, and nothing else, I mean, it's you versus the road, or the car, or the wall, and I've been lucky, I've been in really bad crashes, so I've broken my shoulder, I have, uh, I've, <laughs> Some of my teammates on the national team know I, I, I flipped over a wall once and fell into a creek about a 20 foot drop and luckily there was water down there so that kind of broke my fall. Like I've been through a lot of crashes and everything but when you hear that stuff it just, and that, for me it doesn't sit well because it's just, it's scary you know. So I wanted to read, uh, shoot this clip because I wanted to, to say what I said earlier again so um, here's the vlog. <laughs> Yeah. I've been in La La Land this entire ride and I like completely really forgot to vlog everything I just did. Oopsie daisies. I'm just pretty much got about a little less than an hour left until I get back home, but I just kind of, I don't know, just, I don't know what I just did. What did I do? <laughs> I just did some tempo and interval stuff, but um, yeah, it's kind of cold out today, too. Ah! Um, Oh, I'm turning, 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 turning. Okay, now I can start vlogging now. But yeah, so just, uh, my head, like I said, was just off in all the land. I'm on my way. Oh. I'm going down the hill right now to go to the emergency room. Don't worry, I'm not going back to the emergency room for any, like, emergency room purpose. But, um, I need to go grab my medical records from them because I have a tendency to, like, forget where I've gone for, for certain things and would like to have those records on hand. Yep, we're going back here again. Okay, so whoever I got information from told me to come here to figure out where I was going. So now they told me to go around and then there's a white building behind them, somewhere in the middle where I might need to go. I don't, I don't know, why couldn't they just tell me that? Why couldn't they just say, you need to go here? So I found said white building, hopefully, but I can't find where to go in at. Face palm. This sucks. I will find it. I'm determined. Success. So I just filmed this whole clip and Austin doesn't believe me. But he thinks I'm not pushing the button. My flip is freezing. The screen and the entire device freezes often when I try to record. So I think I'm recording because it shows the red numbers and then it's like, haha, just kidding. So I've got my me medical records under my arm. And there's an ambulance coming because, you know, this is a hospital. So now I feel, I feel more comfortable knowing that I have these records because it's something that I definitely should have. So I'm not doing this flip you guys off, seriously. Um, I'm in a, an oddly amount of pain right now. I um, somehow managed to flip the skin right there back on my middle finger and uh, it was bleeding pretty good a few minutes ago. It kind of stopped bleeding but it still hurts. I don't know what I did but that whole section right there was kind of like flapped up and it was just like dripping blood. Oh! This hurts. And again, I'm not flipping you off. I'm just... That's the finger that 
I did whatever I just did too. So I'm about to call uh, AT&T because um, we have the privilege to be using AT&T U-verse, which um, it doesn't work half the time. Super slow, like on average, it would take um, around two and a half to three hours to upload like a long vlog, which long is like mm, six minutes. A six minute video, which is not even a gig, will take two and a half hours to three hours, depending on uh, how at and is feeling that day. So, um, like right now, my 3G on my phone is faster than our Wi-Fi right now. And uh, that's why the vlog's not up because it was like at bazillion minutes and I was like, I'm not gonna sit. I, I was like, I gotta call him. So I'm gonna call AT&T right now. Welcome to AT&T. Now, in a few words, please tell me the reason for your call. You can say something like, you verse technical support, or I'd like to pay my bill. So briefly tell me what you're calling about. You guys suck. It sounds like you'd like to discuss a concern with someone. Is that right? Yes. Uh, thank you for calling at and My name is Joseph, and I want you to be very satisfied with my service today. How may I help you? Hi, Joseph. Um, uh, we're having internet problems. Okay. Um, so basically what's been happening in the last like week or so that it's just been cutting in and out. And then today, uh, until about maybe a few minutes ago, it was not working at all. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that you've been get, having internet problems. I will get you over to our technical support and we'll get those fixed for you, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Joseph. You're on YouTube. Hey, Zoe. <laughs> what, are you, what are you putting your head out the window for? Well, it's because Austin knocked the screen out and hasn't picked it up. I did not mean to knock the screen out. He goes... <gasps> I touched and it and it fell. The screen fell like down... We're on the second floor, so down on the patio now. Crazy. So it's got the phone with AT&T and they're sending the guy over to look at our internet. Probably won't be able to fix it. Zoe! <whistles> Watch, she doesn't come running down the stairs. Oh, you're supposed to stick your head out the window. That's not fun. <laughs> Screen. So the AT&T guy was just here and he's actually just left and uh, I just called BS. Like, I, I don't know, something about their BS they give and try to sell. Like he told me, like, oh, your modem and your router has, can't be on the carpet. So why the hell would you design something that's designed to sit on the ground or like on a desk? He goes, oh, another thing, it's bad to have electronics around your modem. Ooh, what? Like, what? Is, what? He goes, oh, this printer might be interfering with your, your, your router, blah, blah, blah. The other thing, he had me put a, uh, a magazine on there because he says the carpet interferes with the signal. I was like, oh, that just seems stupid. And then I asked him if uh, we could move the router to where the AT&T box is on the side of the house for a stronger signal. And I said, it'll cost me $55 to move the box. And I was like, well, I can do it on my own. He goes, no, no, you're not allowed to. <sighs> and then the best part, he, uh, there's a survey. And he goes, oh, I need to fill out your paperwork. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, he pulled out a piece of paper out of his pocket. And it was a survey. And he filled it out and had me initial it, and I didn't realize what it was until after he left and I read it, because he gave me a copy of it, and it was asking how satisfied I was with his services, and I was like, wait a minute, usually the customer has to fill these out. That'd be like me grading my own paper in high school and giving myself an A+, plus because everything looked good, and I thought it was, but that was really weird. We'll see if it fixed it. He said, you have fast internet. I'm like, no, we don't. <laughs> I'm feeling like skateboarding. Do you want to go play? Bye -bye. Yes? Okay. So because the internet has been shysty, uh, the vlog is finally going up at like 8 o'clock. Uh, so I apologize for that. But you can suck at AT&T because you suck. Okay, this is Zoe Cam 2.0. It's a little, little bit interesting of a setup. 
It's actually, actually her seat belt <laughs> that I strapped the camera to. It kind of leans to the side, but we're going to give it a go and uh, skateboard. Whoa. Come here. We're having a cam camera malfunction. <laughs> Come here. You broke it. You broke the rig. All right, we'll take this off you. Sorry if that gave him a really bad motion sickness. Right, Come here. You got purple glasses on. I wear my sunglasses at night. It's not tight. I'm the best boyfriend in the world. I'm making dinner for my woman. And yet, whenever I make pasta, it's not cooking. I didn't say I was cooking, I said I was making dinner. I don't count boiling water and putting Should stuff into it cooking. Should I have the reason why Austin's the one near the pasta? He's really, really anal about the way his pasta's cooked. So if I do it wrong, and not the way he likes it, oh goodness. But if he does it wrong, whatever. So I just let him, if we share pasta, which is very rare that we eat together. The light's really white, so you look... I mean, I'm quite white to begin with, and now all I see is like flashes. Well, it's really white, and now you're now it's like semi-normal, but really white. But I don't count boiling water or sticking stuff in a microwave and poking holes in it cooking. That's not cooking. I don't say that's cooking. But if I make pasta and I'm sitting there and I make like do stuff with sauce and cut up vegetables and do whatever in it, it's still cooking. Just because I, you know, don't make a freaking ten-course meal for people doesn't mean it's not cooking. Okay, Aaron. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed right now. Aaron, you can be the judge. Let me know in the so comments below. If, if I you think lasagna, boiling... that's not cooking. Lasagna's cooking. Yeah, but your dad won't eat it, so I won't make it. Okay, well, I don't think this is cooking. I don't, I don't know. I just, like, I don't know. Well, you don't cook anyway, because all you do is make, like, those soups or, like, rice or noodle dishes in the, in the pot. I didn't say I cook all the time. You don't cook ever. Whatever. I'm not. I'm not going to play. I just don't think that's cooking. Oh, very, very sweet jelly. Thank you, Sasa. I love that. Hey, hey, babe. Can you uh, can you grab the butter and cream cheese for me? Yeah, here. I don't think we have enough though. This is like the smallest ones I've ever seen. Oh my god, yeah, that's totally not enough. Um, do you think you can run to the store and this get another one? This only for like half a bagel. I know. Um, we don't have enough for our food, so... But I, I think we need... It's like... I, I need um, a little bit more butter. Yeah, the cream cheese is not Because I need to butter my biscuits. Either. Not sufficient. No, at all. and you can't cover your bagel with that, it's like, so... Not, not good enough. Like, who would buy this small of a thing of butter? Steve. I mean, we're in America. Come on, we eat butter. You need some artichoke carts, too? Uh, yeah, I do actually. Ah, uh, that's kind of a small jar. I know. This is not enough. I could eat this in like a half a second. I know. Um, can you give me the mealworms? Ew, no, I'm not supposed <laughs> to Do you want some mango or broccoli? Oh, man. Uh. <laughs> I almost got killed. This is, <laughs> I really actually could eat this in like a setting, but holy moly, Austin's mom, what did you do? <laughs> Costco! Dumpster dive and found some old cantaloupe for my cousins. Ew! Ah! Did you literally find that out of there? I pulled it out of the trash can. You come over here. I don't want the people at the church to see me throw it. Let's go over there. You ready? 